Hello masterminds, welcome back to class. Our topic for today is schizoaffective disorder and it's one of the most difficult to understand concepts in psychiatry. But I'm going to make it as easy as possible for you to understand. If you are ready, grab your pens and your notepads because class is in session. To make it very organized and easy to follow, we will start by talking about the definition of schizoaffective disorder followed by the signs and symptoms of schizoaffective disorder. Then we move on to the types and then we will end the video by talking about the management of individuals with schizoaffective disorder. We will start by defining schizoaffective disorder. The word schizoaffective comes from two words, that is schizo and then affective. Where schizo means schizophrenia and then affective is another word for mood disorders. So in effect, Schizoaffective disorder is a chronic psychiatric condition that combines the signs and symptoms of schizophrenia and then mood disorders. In other words, schizoaffective disorder is schizophrenia plus mood disorders. Now that we understand the definition of schizoaffective disorders, let's move on to the signs and symptoms of the disorder. The signs and symptoms of schizoaffective disorders are derived from the signs and symptoms of both schizophrenia and mood disorders. Therefore, to properly understand the signs and symptoms of schizoaffective disorder, you need to understand what schizophrenia is and what mood disorders are. To make it very simple and straight to the point, I have already made videos on schizophrenia and mood disorders, and I'm going to link them in the video description below. If you watch those two videos, you are going to perfectly understand what schizoaffective disorders are. An individual suffering from schizoaffective disorder would demonstrate some signs and symptoms of schizophrenia, such as hallucinations, delusions, disorganized behavior, and disorganized thinking. I've already explained what hallucinations, delusions, disorganized thinking, and disorganized behavior mean in my video on schizophrenia, so I'm not going to explain them again. If you want further information on that, you check my video on schizophrenia. In the same way, an individual suffering from schizoaffective disorder will demonstrate some signs and symptoms of mood disorders, such as sudden changes in mood, mania, depression, or hypomania. Again, all of these terminologies are explained in too much details in my video on mood disorders. So if you don't really understand what hypomania, depression, and mania means, you watch that video and you can understand it even more better. This brings us to the types of schizoaffective disorders. There are two forms of schizoaffective disorder. We have the bipolar type and then the depressive type. Individuals with schizoaffective disorder, the bipolar type, exhibit the signs and symptoms of schizophrenia, such as hallucinations and delusions, alongside the signs and symptoms of bipolar disorder, such as mania and depression. With those individuals suffering from schizoaffective disorder, the depressive type, they combine the signs and symptoms of schizophrenia, such as hallucinations and delusions, and signs and symptoms of mood disorders, specifically depression. We are ending this video by talking about the management of individuals with schizoaffective disorder. Under the management of individuals with schizoaffective disorders, we are going to talk about the use of medication, psychology, and nursing management. We are starting with the use of medications, the use of medications in the management of schizoaffective disorder combine the medications used in the treatment of schizophrenia and then mood disorders. Therefore, the kind of medications used are antipsychotics, antidepressants, and mood stabilizers. I believe I can safely assume that by now you understand that antipsychotic medications are used in the management of psychotic disorders such as schizophrenia and antidepressants are used in managing depression, and then mood stabilizers are used in managing bipolar disorders. Because of this, the combination of these medications that an individual receives for their management of schizoaffective disorder depends on the type of schizoaffective disorder that they have, whether it is the depressive type or the bipolar type. For people who are suffering from the bipolar type, they receive antipsychotics with mood stabilizers, and for those who have the depressive type, they receive antipsychotics and antidepressants. Under the psychological management of schizoaffective disorders, individuals are taken through a number of psychological therapies 
to help them understand the disorder and how to cope with living with this kind of disorder. We have the use of psychoeducation, CBT, which is cognitive behavioral therapy, and life skills training, which helps with things like improving communication, social integration, and work rehabilitation. Finally, onto the nursing interventions for individuals suffering from schizoaffective disorder. The nursing interventions for schizoaffective disorder combines the nursing interventions for schizophrenia and mood disorders. As a nurse, you have to be open, honest, and consistent when communicating with them. You have to build a trusting and therapeutic clinical relationship with them and not to make promises you cannot keep. Provide a positive feedback for behaviors that contribute positively to their health and offer support for behaviors that they struggle with. Also, it is very important to set clear limits and boundaries with them and show empathy when caring for them. This brings us to the end of today's lecture video. If anything was unclear, please drop a comment in the comment section below and I'll do my best to respond to this. Like this video, subscribe to the channel and share the video with others who will benefit from it. As always, this is Master Mind's Nursing. Ladies and gentlemen, class has ended.